breaking news from RTV6. He's, he's approaching him. Breaking now in six, a police shooting caught on camera. This is a look at moments before IMPD officers shoot and kill that suspect. What we are learning about the case. We begin tonight with RTV6's Ebony Monet. She is alive in the 7900 block of Red Mill Drive near 38th and Franklin on the northeast side where this shooting happened. Ebony, what are you learning right now? So I spoke to the family of the man who was shot and killed by police here today. They tell me he suffered from mental illnesses and he lived here in this apartment complex. The encounter started when police were called here just before 1130 this morning with a report of a man possibly suicidal carrying a knife. Once police came in contact with this man, he was only partially clothed. They tell me he was bleeding from, from self-inflicted injuries apparently and that he still had this knife. They say they tried several times telling him to drop the knife and he did not respond and that's when they say two officers use stun guns at one point we're told a third officer attempted another non-lethal move by going behind this man to an attempt to bring him down using a bear hold type tactic however they say he had to disengage when the man with the knife continued to wave around the weapon we have actually obtained a video that was captured by a cell phone from a witness of three minutes of the last three minutes of this 10 minute encounter we, however, have edited and edited the video and are not showing the point of the deadly shooting. In fact, just earlier today, I spoke to the family and they said that they saw the video on social media, the unedited video, and is very heartbreaking to see. And they asked why police could not continue to use non-lethal force. As the officers progressed through their use of force, they used a taser. That taser impacted uh, the individual, and that had no effect. And I think people get this false sense that if you shoot someone in an arm or if you shoot someone in the leg, they're immediately going to stop their actions and they're going to drop a knife or drop a weapon and immediately surrender. You know, we had a, like I said, we had 10 minutes where this individual did not surrender, did not drop the knife, and did not submit to uh, being taken into custody. So there's a lot that go into this and I understand their concerns. It's just not something that we train to do in, the, in these instances. A spokesperson from IMPD tells me that the two officers that fired only fired when this man continued to approach them with the knife extended in an aggressive manner. His family tells me he was the father of two and possibly not on his medication for paranoid schizophrenia. Reporting live on the northeast side, Ebony Monet, RTV6.